This track is not an attack upon the American people. It's an attack upon the system within which they live. Since 1945, the United States has attempted to overthrow more than 50 foreign governments. In the process, the US has caused the end of life for several million people and condemned many millions more to a life of agony and despair. The strength of your dreaming prevents you from reason. The American dream only makes sense if you're sleeping. It's just a cruel fantasy. And as you see the debt clock, spin around as you think about those words that were just presented to you by Loki the link to that video will be below you should listen to the rest of that song I'm quite pissed off when I see headlines like this this from the activist post which I'll also link you to top US terrorist group the FBI careful study by the FBI's own data on terrorism in the United States reported in Trevor Aronson's book The Terror Factory finds one organization leading all others in creating terrorist plots in the United States the FBI imagine an incompetent bureaucrat now imagine a corrupt one now imagine both combined you're starting to get the image I take away of some of the FBI agents actions recounted in the book uh, and again, people, I'm not here to sell you a book. It's the facts that you need to be considering. Uh, maybe the book's good. I don't know. It's the headline and the fact that pisses me off that you need to start thinking about um, before you go to the polls again. Vote locally. I'm going to link you to this. I'm going to let you read it. Okay? But I do want to point out something right here. Give you a few statistics. Something to grab onto in case showing you the headline giving you the link isn't enough to spur you into action or wake you from your slumber as it reads here between 9-11 and August 2011 the government prosecuted 508 people for terrorism in the United States 243 had been targeted using an FBI informant 158 had been caught in an FBI terrorism sting 49 that we know of FBI recording devices have completely unbelievable patterns of malfunctioning uh, had incurred let's see had encountered agent provocateur most of the rest charged with terrorism had little or nothing to do with terrorism at all most of them charged with more minor offenses like immigration offenses were making false statements three or four people out of the whole list appeared to be men whom one would reasonably call terrorists in the commonly accepted sense of the word they intended to and had something at least approaching the capacity to engage in acts of terrorism um, so very few very, very few they're arresting people from terrorism tromping all over the globes uh, dropping bombs on people okay uh, this is just ridiculous when you get into this and you read all this if you you know you can think it it's one thing to assume that they're all crooked bastards but when you start getting evidence, uh, concrete evidence in, in, in numbers, okay, in, in the plots, I mean, we know about the Fast and Furious, right? I mean, this is what our government does, the United States of America. And you wonder why everybody fucking hates us? Because either we try to control everything, or if it can't be controlled, we either kill it or make it illegal. And then we charge our people taxes for us to do so. Much love, many thanks, and and stand up, people. I, I still endorse that everybody start taking action to force their governors to march on Washington and not only arrest Obama, but any of those vile, evil bastards that have taken control of our country, if we have reason to believe they're guilty, just like you or I would be arrested if we were guilty. And don't get it twisted, you fucking trolls. This You, you can twist things, and I know. Oh, he's talking about throwing, overthrowing the government. Wait a minute. I have that constitutional right before you even get started. This government has grown foul and evil, sadistic, and very, very expensive, as you see. Follow the link. 
do some research, and wake up.